Welcome back to The Watch List. I'm Nicole Pendelides. The American consumer has continued to stay pretty strong despite inflation headwinds that they've been facing. In the meantime, macro spending from these consumers. We just got the latest retail sales numbers, and they are still spending, and they spent over the holidays. Simon Kaloff is with us. CEO at Marquetta. A lot of focus here on buy now, pay later. This is your specialty. Um, why are people buying now and paying later? What are we seeing with this trend? We're seeing a very interesting trend. Actually, the numbers that you mentioned, uh, the consumer retail sales were up 0.6%, while the economists expected 0.4%. So that's 50% beat, effectively. And I think uh, there's two things going on. One is uh, the buy now, pay later uh, programs go in mainstream. Uh, they were kind of like targeting a fringe uh, part of the economy. Now they've gone mainstream and they effectively help the economy and the consumer stay resilient. And and the, the mechanics of buy now, pay later is different than credit cards because uh, buy now, pay later is effectively giving you a loan uh, for a specific item versus giving consumers uh, an empty check, basically a blank check that they can spend. So that means that their ability to repay uh, is higher. So the good thing here is that when you look at where credit card APRs are, they're about 19 to 20%. And if that comes down because of the uh, buy now, pay later, then you've just injected 20% of the spend back into the economy versus into uh, uh, into interest rates. So I think that's what's driving this confidence. So that's one angle. And I think the second angle is that uh, there's a lot of deals out there. I mean, retailers have figured out that they can latch on to this buy now, pay later uh, programs and offer really good deals to consumers. So the combination of those have created uh, this this effect. Yeah. And in the meantime, um, you offer them the opportunity by providing that right with your platform. Tell me a little bit about how Marketa itself works. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, most I, I, I can say most, if not all, by now, pay, la uh, pay later companies do use Marketa because at the end of the day, uh, someone has to settle the payment with a merchant. So while the consumer is paying, uh, let's say, every month, uh, the retailer has to be paid immediately. And that's the transaction that Marketa facilitates. So we're the platform. We settle with the retailer immediately right. using a virtual card that Marketa invented. Uh, and then the, the buy now, pay later companies actually collect from consumers in four equal installments. So that mechanic allows the BNPL uh, to be used everywhere, not just in selective retailers. On the plus side, can using buy now, pay later actually help someone build credit or add to their credit Absolutely. Store? Yeah, I mean, we see it as a spectrum. I mean, if we think about consumers, they have technically three options. One is pay now if their paycheck allows it. One is pay in four and then move to a revolver, which is a credit card. And we think buy now, pay later is better for the consumer because the entity that's doing buy now, pay later can control their spend faster so they don't get into bad debt. And uh, that gives them a faster ability to build credit and eventually get to revolvers. And one of one of the thing I think you're uh, the speaker that was before me uh, talked about that uh, we don't know where lending is because you have a lot of non banks that are lending. Uh, I think that's an example. Buy now, pay later is an example in which technology has come in extremely fast and has offered an alternate lending vehicles than credit cards, but at the same time gave consumers. Uh, the ability to build credit so they do get credit cards. Okay, on the downside, so that's a plus. They build credit if they're using that. On the downside, people can get caught. You know, they, they want to pay something in four installments and halfway through, they can't make those payments. I mean, buy now, pay later is different from a credit card, but it's similar in that the consumer has to pay it back. Consumer debt has been ballooning. 
consumer credit cards are over are what uh, 1.3 trillion now with many of the rates well over 20 percent and the concern here is that you know it builds on itself earlier today we had on bank rate they were talking if you have a six thousand dollar credit card at 21 percent and you pay the minimum payment it takes 17 years to pay it off um i'm worried are you worried I'm not at all. On the contrary, uh, if you actually look at buy now, pay later, the payment period is a short term loan. It's it's paid back in four. Uh, so you don't have that multi year exposure. So that's number one. And number two is the finer controls uh, that are uh, deployed by the institutions uh, to uh, actually curb more spending if there is any propensity for the consumer to miss a payment. That's something that credit cards do not do. I, I'm effectively giving you a blank check and you can go spend it anywhere. So I think buy now, pay later is very good at reducing that debt stack. Now, in terms of the overall consumer, there's no question that the debt stack is going up 1.3 trillion. But as a percentage of GDP, it's actually flat or going down. Now you, you could have the case of the have and have nots in which like uh, the, the the rich are actually bringing the, the debt stack down and the less affluent have a higher debt stack compared to their income. But on average, as the U.S. economy, there is nothing alarming here. And I think buy now, yeah. pay later is going to help the less affluent not increase their debt stack by simply taking away that 20% penalty that they will get uh, on credit card APRs and injecting it back into the ecosystem. Yeah, and you start to wonder how your kind of companies make money when the credit cards are charging so much, you understand how they're making money. They charge fees to the retailer, they charge fees to the person who's shopping. Um, in the meantime, you are empowering folks to be able to buy what it is that they need now versus having to wait or suffer. Simon Kaloff, thank you. Of Marketa, I look forward to speaking again and again throughout this year and get some updates.